Hey guys, it's Chris here. How's it going guys? Right here. We're Expert Dummies, bringing another reaction video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the lower right hand corner. And when you do, thank you. And if you don't, thanks for watching guys. Still appreciate you. Yeah, and keep dropping the comments. Really appreciate the feedback. You know, we do try to take your feedback into consideration. Like for example, you guys told us to watch the Blackpink documentary on Netflix. So we watched it. Yeah. And uh, we put a video out on that. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. Let us know what you guys think. Drop some comments on that one also. Other than that, we wanted to do more Blackpink. No one recommended the song. Maybe someone did, but we wanted to do more Blackpink anyway. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and dive into this one. I mean, I've never heard of this. Yeah, and I think so. it's a newer um, newer song as well. Last six it. months. So okay. um, yeah, let's check it out. All right, I'll pause it right there. Yeah. Just, uh, you know, what, what do you think? I mean, I'm, I'm getting, like, big pop and, like, rap vibes. Yeah, for sure. And after seeing them in the studio with, it, was it Tony or Teddy Parker? One or the other. Yeah, yeah. I'm, okay. I'm on a sound for sure. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong, but I can, like, after watching the documentary, like, I can kind of see them huddled around yeah, together, yeah, kind of, exactly. like, deciding on the chorus and, like, the instrumentation and stuff like that and sure. so it, it's just kind of cool to like have that like vision in my mind now after having watched the documentary but i mean this song specifically it just seems like it's kind of right up their alley like it suits them kind of like another commercial hit yeah uh, you know catchy catchy chorus uh with like a drop to go along with it so how about you yeah no i definitely agree um i like it and it was it's like pretty interesting also like it almost seemed like they were playing off of like I don't know like Middle Eastern um, culture there with like the like, like yeah, yeah like and also like the bazaar she was like kind of walking through and like and then like the the hawk or whatever was like you know yeah. kind of there um, which was kind of in, like interesting because like I just haven't seen that and it's kind of like yeah. oh like it definitely is a twist and and like you said you heard that in the background that was unique yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I thought like um, just like that little little twist in I the, feel like in because the they have such an international like fan base exactly like, you know they can't cater to like one part of the yeah. country or one region you know like their fan base is corner to corner like glow like it expands the entire world and so. yeah and you even see that present as far as like their music videos her rapping and in yeah her rapping in uh korean and then essentially just transitioning to english and, and right. I, I also think that's really cool uh that, yeah. that they're able to do that and transition and switch up but um yeah we could just go ahead yeah, and, and, and just it finish it up yeah I'm not 
All right. Oh, that was a quick one. How you like that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, Chris, how you like that? <laughs> um, so, so I actually did like it. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, overall, I'm going to give it, like, 8.8. 8. Um, yeah, I mean, it's it's also just, like, interesting because it's, like, like these girls, too, in, or women, like, it's just, like, very interesting that, um, just, like, how they've made it to fame and such, like, as we've learned. But it, but it honestly couldn't happen to, like, better people, I feel like, because, like, yeah, I yeah. feel like they're all very genuine and very, like, nice people. Um, so, like, I'm just, like, happy to, like, see that see they're continually succeed. su- yeah. succeeding and, like, that this is, like, obviously going to be a big hit and that came out six months ago. Right, right. Um, and I just see them continuing, continuing to be, like, an international... Oh, yeah, um, they're not going away anytime soon. Y- yeah, exactly, <laughs> and I hope, like, pressure doesn't amount, but it didn't seem like they... they, they seemed, it seemed like they deal with it so well. Yeah. Like I said, I kind of feel like... I feel like they almost, like, bottle it up and then, like, learn to, like, live with it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, but... Um, yeah, it didn't get to them. But th- this yeah, would make yeah. my playlist and even, like, a workout song or something like that. I, yeah. I, I could see... It's great, like, club music, too. Oh, yeah, for know, sure, like, yeah. Get, get you going. But, Definitely, um, yeah, wake you up, get you hyped a little bit, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I'd say, like, 8.6 for me. I'd throw it on, like, a workout playlist or, like, you know, a pregame playlist or something sure, yeah, like yeah. that, you know, before a night out. Um, I, I really just like the different cultural backgrounds that they have. Like, they each bring something different to the table, something different to the band. And, again, just their – just, like, their platform is just so big. I mean, like, you go to just yeah. about any continent, any country, and, and, like, they have a fan base. Yeah. So I think that's interesting. I really don't know how we hadn't heard of, heard of them, them yeah. prior. Um, yeah, seriously. I mean, I guess you and I don't listen to, like, any, like, type of mainstream or, or, yeah, so or we popular music, Yeah, so we wouldn't know better. Yeah. Yeah, but um, definitely a fan now. Um, looking forward to doing more. Let us know if there's some songs that we have to do. Um, and also I was kind of interested. So like, obviously we've been dealing with this global pandemic and kind of, you know, like essentially music artists haven't been able to, uh, perform or or, or or make income. Yeah. yeah, During this time. So I'm kind of just wondering, I don't know if anyone out there knows, um, but essentially what has Blackpink been up to? Have they, have they been able to, you know, have some time off with their family or have they just been pumping out music video after music video? Yeah. Yeah doing that mainly they're like um, quarantining together pretty much exactly know, like, yeah so like and like having virtual meetings with their producers and stuff like that you know what i mean sure so um either way i would just like to know yeah just kinda, curious kind of yeah. cool um but yeah thanks for watching guys make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the lower right hand corner when you do thank you and if you don't thanks for watching we'll catch you in the next video